One of the most common questions I hear asked whether you're in a restaurant, a building, a house, a condo is, is there Wi-Fi in here? And <laughs> I think the perfect person to talk Wi-Fi today is Julian joining us from Lender Drugs, the tech expert. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. Now, we are going to be talking about Wi-Fi in homes today. Right, yeah. I brought along with me a couple of uh, options for you. So if you need a lot of coverage, there's a lot of people who have uh, Wi-Fi from their service provider because uh, they, they say, hey, it's included, it's yeah. easy. Uh, but that doesn't always do enough. Uh, it's become, uh, Wi-Fi's become the most important utility after power in your house, in, in my oh, that opinion. That doesn't surprise me, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's one of those things you need all the time. So uh, the internet service provided routers are good if you just have one or two things, but even uh, the average person has five, six, seven, ten things that they want on Wi-Fi. Right. Um, so you can get a better router. You can add another Wi-Fi box at your house, uh, so you connect that to your service provided modem, and then it can give you a big boost. The ones that that they have go up to 150. Okay. So uh, that's just a number that's easy to explain. And I brought along with me uh, the new Netgear Nighthawk X6. And this is the fancy. nerdiest <laughs> router that has come out in a long time. Uh, it, there's three bands that it uses. So basically it has enough juice to punch through interference that's around you. It okay, also now maybe define what you mean by interference. Uh, well, uh, there's a lot of clutter in your house. Uh, there's cellular signals. There's uh, interference from even microwave ovens, dishwashers. They're actually producing interference that can make your Wi-Fi uh, lower range or worse quality. So having something that has a better bandwidth will go through that interference. Okay. Your neighbors will also cause interference from their Wi-Fi networks. So finding yours is sometimes a challenge depending on the size of your house. Okay. So this the Netgear Nighthawk uh, actually has all of the frequency that any router is allowed to have. It's the first time that they've been able to use two five gigahertz frequencies. Oh, wow. Kind of the nerdy explanation, <laughs> but basically, if you buy this, plug it in, set it up, you're going to get uh, the best Wi-Fi for your devices. It's okay. got an intelligent Wi-Fi detector in it, so no matter what speed your device is supposed to have, it'll find that speed and perform at the best speed mm. that that device can have. That's so it's actually taking advantage of the investment you made in all of the technology that you bought. You're actually giving it the best Wi-Fi it can have. So connect the internet to everything. So let's talk, I like, I like compact yep, and tiny. What is this one all about? This is a little uh, D-Link repeater. So this is a little box. If you have an area in your house, like mm -hmm. the second floor of my house, gets poor Wi-Fi coverage. So I plugged that in uh, near my stairwell towards the second floor and it takes the signal from your router that you already have and then it repeats it from there. Okay. So if you have a dead zone or if you have some place, maybe one room around a corner that you just can't hit. Basements. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, those those uh, little repeaters can really help you. They won't make your whole network faster, but it's to help you cover a little bit of a little stretch to your network. And they're they're a lot less expensive. Okay, we have about a minute left. I'm interested to know this big fancy Netgear one. <laughs> who like what are the target? Who are the target people that that would help? That would uh, assist for? Well, at my house, um, I don't do a lot of online gaming because I have okay. two little kids. So we have Netflix. My wife works from home, so she needs a reliable, fast internet connection to do a lot of email. And uh, when I'm at home, I'm usually uh, cruising around on social networks doing research and writing. So if I use the service provided router, um, I have about 5% of the network left after my kids turn on their Netflix. So even for a house like mine that doesn't do a lot, uh, it's it's a great router. It also has USB ports on the back, so it's targeted towards anybody that wants to connect a USB device to it and then uh, share that on all of their devices on the network. The other thing I love about Netgear is there's a little app you have on your phone. Mm -hmm. So if you're a parent and your kids are supposed to be doing homework, you can allow them certain websites on certain devices and you don't have to know anything about networking. You just basically uh, walk through the app and you can control what they're doing. Perfect. Well, we're out of time. Thank you so much for that information. I'm sure lots of people will be taking advantage of uh, the items you brought in today for us. And we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks. Thanks so much.